Samsung's next non-foldable flagship, the Galaxy S26 Ultra, is shaping up to deliver a serious performance leap, and it's not just because of its next-generation processor. Yes, it will launch with Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2, which is expected to easily outperform the Snapdragon 8 Elite in the Galaxy S25 Ultra. But the real game-changer this year comes from another part of the hardware, the RAM. According to trusted industry insider Ice Universe, the S26 Ultra will pack LPDDR5X RAM with an incredible 10.7 gigabits per second data transfer speed. That's a big jump from the 8.5 gigabits per second RAM in the S25 Ultra, a 25% speed boost in just one generation. Why does this matter? RAM is your phone's short-term workspace. The faster it can move data, the faster it can handle anything you throw at it. A 25% jump in memory speed means faster app launches, smoother high-end gaming, instant switching between heavy apps, and snappier AI features. From browsing massive photo galleries to editing 8K video, everything will feel quicker and more fluid. What makes this even more impressive is that Samsung is using its own in-house technology. Back in April 2024, the company announced LPDDR5X RAM capable of hitting exactly the 10.7 GEEP speeds now expected in the S26 Ultra. By using its own memory chips, Samsung can fine-tune performance with the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2, squeezing out every bit of power. This kind of hardware software optimization is one reason Samsung phones often feel faster in real use than their specs suggest. And here's the kicker. The competition can't match this right now. Micron and SK Hynix have both introduced LPDDR5T memory, and while the T might sound like it's faster, it actually tops out at 9.6 Jeeps, still well behind Samsung's new RAM. This means that when the Galaxy S26 Ultra launches, it will quite literally have the fastest RAM in any smartphone in the world, giving it a unique edge over its rivals. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. Samsung is back, and it's raising the bar once again. The Galaxy S26 Ultra is shaping up to be one of the most complete flagships we've ever seen. From stunning aesthetics to next-level performance, this phone isn't just an upgrade, it's a bold refinement of everything Samsung does best. Let's start with what grabs your attention first, the design. Samsung has introduced six gorgeous new color options for the S26 Ultra, ice blue, titanium gray, mint green, pearl white, phantom black, and the luxurious champagne gold. These shades are fresh, elegant, and perfectly match the premium feel of the Ultra series. The rear cameras blend seamlessly into the body, while the clean, minimalist finish screams high-end craftsmanship. Samsung absolutely nailed the look this year. But the S26 Ultra isn't just about looking good. It's about delivering. It features a flat 6.8 or 6.9-inch AMOLED display with ultra-narrow bezels, offering a true edge-to-edge -edge experience. At just 7.7 millimeters thick, it's one of the slimmest Ultra models ever, yet still packs a massive 5,000 mAh battery. And yes, charging speeds are getting a major boost. While exact figures are still under wraps, leaks suggest Samsung is finally ready to catch up with industry leaders in the fast charging game. Under the hood, the S26 Ultra will pack the upgraded Snapdragon 8 Elite 2 chip. And according to trusted leaker digital chat station, the cost difference of TSNC's enhanced 3NUM process is about the same as last year. That means Samsung may keep the price steady despite all these upgrades. On the software side, Samsung has taken a major step forward. Internal development for the flagship has already begun. A new firmware build, version S948 USQ0AWG8, was spotted on Samsung's OTA server by tipster Tarun Vats. This firmware matches the Galaxy S26 Ultra's model number and is believed to be the first build of Android 16-based One UI 8.5, marking the start of serious internal testing. And then there's the camera. The S26 Ultra is expected to reuse the 200-megapixel ISO SOC LLHP2 sensor from the S24 Ultra and S25 Ultra, but with a dramatically improved f/1.4 aperture. Translation? More light hits the sensor, giving you brighter, sharper, and cleaner images, especially in dark environments. According to Ice Universe, expect less noise, fewer smears, and greater detail across all lighting conditions. 
All signs point to the Galaxy S26 Ultra being more than just another yearly refresh. It's shaping up to be a real statement device. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. We're now going to run through the full specs, design, and expected pricing to help you decide which one is right for you, so hit subscribe now, and let's dive right into it. First up, the standard Galaxy S26. It's coming with a 6.2-inch dynamic A and OLED display with improvements in brightness and color accuracy. We get a 120Hz display with HDR10+, and a resolution of 1080x2340. The display will be protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 3. For selfies, it has a 12-megapixel punch hole camera. On the rear, there's a triple camera setup consisting of a wide, ultra-wide, and telephoto, but the exact sensors are still unknown. It'll be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 chipset and comes with 12GB of RAM and up to 512GB of storage, UFS 4.0. The battery is a 4000 mAh unit with 25 dB fast charging and 15 dB wireless charging. It will also support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband support. The phone will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to start at around $800 in January 2026. Next we have the Samsung Galaxy S26 Plus, which may also be known as the S26 Edge. This one will come with a 6.7-inch dynamic A and OLED display with similar improvements in brightness and color accuracy. You'll get a 120Hz display, HDR10+, and a resolution of 1440x3120, protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 3. There's a 12 megapixel punch hole camera for selfies. The rear setup includes a dual camera system with a wide and an ultra wide camera, though the exact sensors are still under wraps. It's also powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 and will come with 12 gigabytes of RAM and storage options of 256 gigabytes or 512 gigabytes, UFS 4.0. The battery is a 4,900 mAh unit with 45 dB fast charging and 15 dB wireless charging. It will support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband. This model will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to be priced from $1,000 in January 2026. Finally, we have the premium model, the Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra. This one features a 6.9-inch dynamic A and OLED display, again with improvements to brightness and color accuracy, 120Hz refresh rate, and HDR10+, with a resolution of 1440x3120, and it will be protected by Gorilla Glass Armor 3. There have been reports suggesting that this could feature the first-ever under-display camera on an S-series phone, likely an 8-megapixel under-display selfie camera. On the rear, it will come with a quad camera setup featuring wide, ultra-wide, telephoto and periscope lenses, but the exact sensors are still unknown. The phone will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 in all regions and will come with 12GB of RAM and up to 1TB of storage, UFS 4.0. It's packing a 6000 mAh battery with significant improvements to fast charging. As expected, it will also support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband. The S26 Ultra will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to start at $1,300 in January 2026. Overall, it's looking like the Samsung Galaxy S26 series is going to be an exciting release, especially if the Ultra becomes the first S-series phone to feature the under-display camera. Samsung seems to be continuing their strategy of improving and refining their phones, rather than completely redesigning them for the sake of it. And just like all new phones, there will be a major emphasis on software, with AI playing a huge role in the user experience. The launch is still a bit far off, but we can expect plenty of information to leak as we approach the release date. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on the latest updates. 